using shade. I don't know what my brain was wanting to say or my mouth was wanting to say. I know what my brain was wanting to say. Jesus Christ! I went save or save this ultimate I wish I had some of those little tiny hands. Hey you guys, it's Slicey and I know I'm wearing a completely different outfit than what I was in the first part of the video and what I'm going to be wearing throughout the rest of the video. This is a completely different day. I forgot to film an intro, but um, this video is going to be a not too hot transformation. So if you guys wanna see how I went from this to something completely different, stick around and keep watching. Okay, to start off, I am going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to prime my skin. Next, I am going to use the Benefit Boing Concealer. And I am going to use the Morphe 173 brush to apply it. Okay, I got a phone call, but now I'm going to apply the Benefit Boing Concealer. This is in the shade number three. And I'm just going to put this everywhere that I have acne, which is everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I am going to let this sit for just a second and I will be, or just a couple of minutes and I'll be right back. Now that this has been setting for a couple of minutes, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation. This is the Haley's Beauty Reset Liquid Matte Foundation. I don't have my correct shade, so I am going to be using shade. I don't know what my brain was wanting to say or my mouth was wanting to say. I know what my brain was wanting to say. Jesus Christ! Okay. I'm going to use the shade 4.00 Cool and 6.75 Cool. I've already mixed it up on my palette, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my face. If I am looking down, that is because I have a mirror right here. Just to get all of that out of the way. This foundation has coverage. Next, I am going to take this Mali Ultimate Performance Save, or er, save, this Ultimate <laughs> This Mali Ultimate Performance See the Light Concealer. I have got nail polish all over this. This is in the shade Fair. And I am just going to get the lid off, first of all. Pop some of this on the back of my hand. And I am going to take this Chic Pro Angle Blender Brush. And blend that out. And I just got this today, so I want to try it out. This is, I'm going to use this as a highlighter for my face. This is the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. This is in the shade Luminous 2.
and that's all I'm going to do with that. And first I'm going to take my, the same sponge that, I, this is the Juno and Co sponge, the same sponge that I used to do my foundation and just make sure under my eyes is nice and blended out. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. Okay, that looks good to me. Next, I am going to take the Mally Cosmetics Poreless Perfection Glowing Foundation. This is in the shade Fair, and I'm going to set under my eyes using, this is a Lorac brush. I have absolutely no idea what kind of brush this is, but I'm going to use it to set under my eyeballs today, because that's what I want to do. And makeup has no rules. For the rest of my face, I am going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade 15 Light. And I'm going to use my Eco Tools Beauty Sponge to set the rest of my face. Okay, I am going to let my whole face bake for just a couple of minutes and I will be right back. This has been setting for a couple of minutes. I'm going to take this Olimar. This is the bronzer brush. I'm just going to use it for a powder brush and wipe all this powder off. Oh yeah, under my eyes are very bright. <laughs> Okay, next I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush. I have absolutely no idea what this brush is called. I've had it for a long time. It shakes. But I'm going to use the e.l.f. Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the medium deep matte. And I'm just going to bronze my face. Okay, next I am going to, um, I'm going to jump off camera real fast and do my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. I did my eyebrows. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. That is why I've zoomed you guys in. And I'm just going to be using this, these Makeup Geek shadows that I got right here. I think this one's Makeup Geek. Yeah. Alright. Um, this is going to be really simple because it's just like simple date night makeup. I'm going to use this shade Tan Lines by Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to pop this in my crease. And this is an Essence Eye Blender Brush.
Okay, next I am going to use the shade Dark Roast by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to use this Profusion brush. It doesn't have a name, but it's like, it's a blending brush. And I'm just going to put this in the outer corner of my eye just to deepen it a little bit. And I'm going to go back in with that first brush, if I can find it. It's right in front of my face. I'm going to go in with this with the first brush. I'm not putting anything else on it and just blending those in the crease. Next, I am going to take this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Birthday Girl. And I'm just going to put this on my lid. Alright. And then I'm going to take this Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Ladybird. And this is going to go on my inner corner. And I'm just going to use my pinky. Now that, my friends, is an inner corner highlight. All right. That is some shine right there. Alright, I'm going to zoom you guys back out because I'm done with my eyeballs besides mascara. Well, first let me go ahead and put mascara on. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and I'm just going to pop this on. I'm not going to put anything on my lower lash line, but I am going to put mascara on. This is the Laura Geller Lengthening Mascara. I really like this for my bottom lashes. I need a mirror for this. That inner corner is bright, man. It is bright. Alright, now that I'm done with that, I thought about putting lashes on, but I really don't want to go through that struggle today. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be using the Milani Rose Glow Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Pearl Mixed. I think I'm just going to use the shade Pearl, and I'm going to use the... Real Techniques 402 brush. Alright, now I'm going to use the, Ooh, I love that highlighter, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Blush, this is in the shade Pearlescent Pink, it is so pretty, and the Sephora Pro Complexion Brush.
going to spray my face with this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 just to set everything down. Next, I am going to use the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is in the shade Soft Spoken, and I'm just going to pop this puppy on my lips. Okay, and this is the finished part of the makeup. I am going to go off camera, put my outfit on, do my hair, and I'll be right back. First of all, I just want to say I'm not naked. I am wearing a tube top, but so for the last part of the makeup part that I want to do, I am going to pop some highlighter on my shoulders and on my collarbone. And I also want to say this is not a bruise. I am... Uh, tan right now from kayaking a lot and that's what this is I don't know why this part tans so well but I'm going to take the setting spray and I'm going to spray my chest and my shoulders and I am going to put that lid back on I'm going to take this wet and wild brush it's just like a highlighter brush and I'm going to take the same palette that I that I used before. Sorry, my mic was not plugged in. I had to plug it in. I'm going to take the same highlighter palette that I used before. And I'm going to use the shade Golden Quartz. And I'm going to pop it right here. And right here. And then on my shoulder. Can't do that. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it with this one. With this hand. This hand is absolutely pointless to me. I use it for absolutely nothing. So now I'm going to take my fingers. I'm just going to blend that in everywhere and that is all for that I am going to back my camera up some and I will show you the outfit that I got on and try to tell you where everything's from if I can remember if not I will find it and link it down below because I'm, I'm not sure Okay, this is my outfit. Um, my shoes, they are just these brown he chunky heels. These are actually from Shoe Show. These pants are from Express. They're just like, they're like super stretchy. They feel like leggings. They are like super stretchy. I don't know why I showed you like that, but you know, whatever. This belt is like this cute, like leopard. I don't think that's what that is, but it's just this like brown and dark, like light golden brown and dark brown spotted. It's just a black belt. And then my shirt, 
the tag says, I think it's pronounced Bozzolo, but it used to have like these like off the shoulder sleeves and I actually cut those off because I did not like them. So I cut those off and I'm, I just have it as a tube top, but it's a whole bodysuit. So, you know, it looks... I love bodysuits. I love how they just like look like, wow, she's put together. But that is my outfit. And then for my hair, all I did was straighten it because um, I was not going to curl it because that literally takes me like two and a half to three hours. So this is how I normally wear my hair anyways, unless I just want to feel like extra sassy then I will curl my hair and then this necklace I just wear this every day it's just a it's just a little purple quartz necklace got it from Target oh yeah this belt is from Target I will link this shirt because I'm not sure I will link all of the clothes where I got them down below if I can find them this shirt I actually got from a store called dirt cheap so I don't know if I will be able to find it but I will try to like I said it did have the arm sleeves but that is my outfit okay you guys that is it for this video I really hope that you enjoyed this I actually had a lot of fun making this video if you guys did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and comment down below other videos that you would like to see me do and then um if you really enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to turn on post notifications. That way you get notified every time that I upload. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!